Will Liv's boyfriend do content with this model? It's pretty funny, who picked it up? Callie doesn't really do but to help Liv, she's pretending that she does. I feel ready, I'm worried about how he's gonna react to everything, but okay. for the best. Liv wanted to test her boyfriend because he had actually tested her loyalty a couple weeks prior. He saw like this TikTok, right? He DM'd them on Instagram or something, and then he added another dude DM me and like try to hit me up. He's like, hey, I, w I go to your school too, I see you around campus. And I was like, no, like I'm not interested, and I blocked him. I've only been a good girlfriend, so I felt like there wasn't really any reason, but I've proven myself, so I just hope he can do the same. He's just been being like really secretive recently. He like goes out at night with his friends, which is like, I don't care, you can go out, whatever. But he just lies about it and tells me he's like sleeping. Do you think he's expecting a test? It was a few weeks ago, and like he's not really good at remembering things that I tell him. I feel like he's not wouldn't be expecting it. I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. I honestly wasn't even sure if I wanted to do this test just because I feel like it's like kind of extreme, you know? Mm. But some of my other friends are telling me that I should. I used to like them too, but now they don't so much, oh. so. Hello? Hi, Benny. What's up? You're still on your way, right? Yeah. Thanks to Liv, we knew that Benny worked with photo and video. Because of this, we had Liv tell her boyfriend that she was gonna share his information with Callie. Eventually, Callie reached out and asked him if he would like to help her produce some content. She gave him some details, but asked him to meet up in person so that she could give him the rest. Do you have like an ETA? 30 minutes? Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, All right, drive safe. I'll, I'll see you soon, bye. With Benny on his way, all that was left to do was get into position and wait for him to arrive. I don't even know how he's gonna react to all of this. There's a banana floating in a pool inside an apartment. Is it easier to cheat over the phone or in person? I mean, you can do more things in person, but it's easier over the phone because you can delete everything. If you do it on Snapchat, you can just block them and then they don't have it either. Hey, Damn! You sure he should have been testing you again? <laughs> While we were gonna help Liv test her boyfriend, let's keep it a bug here. Liv's test was over DM. Benny's test is gonna be in person and arguably more difficult. Hello, did you make it? Yeah, I'm actually downstairs. Yay. I think I'm at the right place. Okay, I'll come meet you. It's kind of confusing. This would be difficult for both Benny and us though. You see, our biggest fear was that Benny was gonna realize that he was being tested. So this is it, this is my humble boat. I mean, he had to be expecting that Liv was gonna get him back, right? I was the drive over here, like I know the traffic. Oh. We were 90% certain though that he was expecting a test over DM or some sort of TikTok version. But to be safe, we wanted to play some reverse psychology on him. We left a lot of equipment just out in the open, including Callie's mic and some cameras, with the screens off, of course. The idea was that Callie just got done filming some content. In the event that Benny got suspicious, Callie could just be like, what do you mean testing you? The cameras aren't rolling, I just got done filming. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was pretty genius. If he passes the test, would you go in there and tell him that? Still debating it. Why is it a debate? Because he didn't tell me, I found out. For the first segment of our test, Kylie spends 20 minutes just breaking the ice in the kitchen. Don't worry, that's not your phone. That camera just died. That's awesome, you love to work out. I really, I almost go like every single day. Really? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I kind of need to go to the gym because I do college cheer. And like they're cheer? Like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And so I just need, I need to make sure I'm staying in shape. You know, I have to lift people up and like, we throw the girls, they do flips, we catch them. For the second segment of this test, Callie brought Benny to the couch. It's a lot to take in, but I'm just really I'm passionate. I'm really, really excited this. about like starting everything. In this segment, Callie would go more into depth on her content creation journey. Yeah, so I'm just really, really interested in growing my social media platform. Like, okay, yeah, so what well, I primarily want to do is Twitch. Um, I feel like that's where I'd get the most donations. People always send money through that way. Okay. The more donations, the better, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that's how I'm trying to make my money and that's how you're gonna help me. I just really need someone to help me like with the cameras because I mean, I just need to get angles. Like if I need you to switch from one camera to another or like. So far, Callie's doing a great job. She left out the content, but hot tub streamer works just as good. I'm like really interested. I've seen like a few girls doing like the hot tub videos. I'll just like show you. It's like these girls, they straight up just like sit in the hot tub. I, I can see the setup, yeah. And people just send money. That's why I was saying like, if you could help me with like the camera aspect of it, like it would just be really helpful, you know? What's she doing? Slow down, baby. And with that, we were in the third segment of our plan. I will be sitting on this banana boat. Okay. You will be behind the camera. Like right over there? <laughs> Is this fair? <laughs> so yeah, you'll be behind the camera, just making sure like, all the angles, everything's good. I'll be talking to my viewers. Besides the camera, if like the lights go out, obviously you can help me with the lighting. I personally think we could bring in 10K a month. Like 10,000. 
Yeah, right? Okay, so you wouldn't you wouldn't expect that Twitch could bring in that much, but I swear to God it can if you just trust the process, you know? I, I, sounds interesting, you know? 10K, that's... Do you, not, do you not think I'm like sexy enough to bring in the money or what? You do look good, you know? Okay. You would donate, right? If you saw me on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably get my fair share. Really? I probably would. Okay. Come on, brother. Hang in there. So yeah, no, that's, this is basically it. This is what I mainly want to focus on mm -hmm. for like income-wise. But like, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, so my role would be just behind the camera, you know, yeah. just filming if anything goes out, you know, I'd, you know, help you. Yeah, I mean, like even stuff like some simple as like if the camera battery is going low, like I need you to like make sure you have the charger I'll ready. With it. I mean, okay. It doesn't sound too hard. When do you want to get this thing started? I feel like by next weekend, that will give me enough time to get the rest of the equipment. I'm very certain about this, and I have faith in you to do this. So I just need to know that you're 100% serious and you believe in me. Yeah, I mean, I, I think with anything you can do. It. Okay, because I've had two or three people like once I kind of introduced this whole thing, they kind of bailed on me. I don't know why they don't believe in the idea or like think that I'm not sexy, but I. <laughs> Are sexy, I mean, yeah, so I mean, I just need to know that you're 100% down and I'm, I'm all down for it. So at the moment, Benny is still good. So far, my boy's just trying to make a bag. He basically just secured himself a cam girl. So fun, floating on a little banana. <laughs> it's like you're living the life over there. Yeah, for real, I swear to God, it's fun. <laughs> okay, say we're bringing in like 10,000 a month. We could go to the nicest, most bougie restaurant ever. I could take you out on a date with all these donations. You want to pay for me? Yeah, I mean, if you're helping me with the camera. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, despite like I like I know you like you and Liv, but like you guys are like dating, right? Yeah, I mean. But like, how long have you guys been dating? I mean, we were talking for a little while, and then we were official. We've been official like five months now. So. That's solid. Yeah, I mean, you know, all relationships are gonna have their ups and downs. Yeah. Is it like pretty serious or? Mm, I, I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. So like nothing that serious to where like, I, I just think you bring some good energy. Like I mean, we're not committed. Really? You know, I mean, I mean if you guys aren't exclusive, what if like you and me went on a date? I mean. But I mean like if, if you and Liv are like together, together, no, like obviously not, like I mean, we don't have to. I was just throwing the idea out there, you know? I, I mean, yeah, I'd be open to the possibility of it. Yeah, I mean. Like, if you guys aren't that serious, I don't really see the problem. But, like, I would never get in the middle of someone's relationship, you know what I mean? Like, she, don't gotta, she doesn't have to know about it. I, mean. I don't want to be a home wrecker. Like, I just, like, I'm just, like, throwing the idea out there. But, like, if you're not with it, then that's fine, you know? No, no, I mean, I see what you're coming at. I see what you're coming at. Look, if you want my honest opinion about her, she's a great girl. But she wants exclusivity. I don't. You know? So you're over it. I mean... I don't want to be the reason that you guys break up, you know? Like I said, if you're over it, like, decide that on your own terms, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, take me out of the picture, honestly. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, she, she just honestly just the backup. Wow. <laughs> your backup. I got, you know, I got my options, you know? Really? <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> How do you want me to do that? Get in. Get in. Get in. I call bullshit. Prove it. I will make some room for you, and you can get in with me. You really want me to prove it to you, buddy? Doesn't this look nice? The warm I, water. I definitely does look nice. It definitely does look nice. And I mean, if you're like really down, if you if you want to prove it to me, you can get in. Otherwise, I mean, it's it's fine. You know, what? it's fine. I'm uh, good. No, I'm good no, by no, myself. No, no, I, no, I'm no, good. Look, 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 look. Like, uh, <laughs> What? What are you gonna say? You don't have pants? <laughs> Your word? You don't take my word? No. I just met you. It doesn't mean I have to hop in a pool with you. I mean... You know. Come on, just prove it. Cause I have a brother. He's like a little smaller, but like we can make it work. Like I could I'd really grab you some extra shorts right now. He would not care if you borrowed something. He's not even home. I mean, you know, you got the trousers. Awesome. Let me go grab them. So, do you want to help me out so I don't like... So Callie runs to grab some shorts for Benny. I mean, if you haven't noticed, we also had some towels prepared for them. This was the plan all along. Now I've been chuckling a bit, but not to be insensitive. The truth is, I thought this idea was ridiculous. I mean, hence the title of this video and why we didn't drop it for two whole years. I, I don't know, like I didn't think he'd actually get into the pool and this dude gets into the freaking pool. <laughs> Those are my freaking shorts. Wow. <laughs> I have no clue where this is gonna go now. I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, mm. 
did not think I was just a backup. But yeah, that's really messed up, to be honest. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry. The good? Okay, look at you. Those look good, I feel like. Benny gets into the pool with Callie and Liv now has to decide if she wants to confront him. If I'm gonna confront him, I feel like now's the moment. I don't know if I'll be able to later. Well, if you wanna go upstairs and confront him, Callie right now is just holding him there. Okay. But I mean, it's up to you. I think I shouldn't go up. Yeah. Yeah. When we walk in there, let's stand on Callie's side, okay? Okay. So let's, let's walk around the tub and stand on Callie's side. Sounds good. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one, because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. At the end of our live stream, we can straight up just chill in here. We could have a few drinks, we could chill, we could- Yeah, roll a joint or something. Hey. What's going on here? I like the swim trunks that aren't yours. Where'd you get those? Oh, oh. fuck Yeah. This. <laughs> What's this? Can you explain to me why you're in a kiddie pool in shorts that aren't yours? Who's this girl? What's her name? The hell her name? Mm -hmm. I'm just in the pool with her. I thought this was an interview. That's why I gave you her number. So You don't know your interviewer's name and you're in a kiddie pool with her? We're just talking business about what she's gonna do with her Twitch thing. She knows, you don't have to. This was the setup. Yeah, so this entire thing, just to explain to you what's happening, like this entire thing is actually all a test. I gotta bring this up. This man is being confronted, cameras everywhere, and he's just chilling. <laughs> she wanted to place you to the test to find out if you would end up saying loyal to her or not. And you can't act like it's crazy to put you to the test after you put me to a test two weeks ago. You saw a TikTok, found the guy's Instagram, DM'd him, set the whole thing up. I've been she a good girlfriend. that dude. He's gay. She can be gay too. Okay, well, no, I'm not gay. So, so. But, so you guys just came in because you felt sorry for her because she thought I was cheating. Is that, is, that, is that my perception of it? It's not even that you were going to cheat on me with her and break up with me. It's the fact that you were lying about the whole thing. You said that, told her. You never lied about anything. She knows, Benny. She heard that she's not even your main hoe. You said she's just like one of your sides. You were the one that like initiated this relationship and you said- Oh, oh. I initiated it? I swear that was you. Oh, I swear that was you. We, she wanted exclusivity, I didn't. So you didn't want it to be exclusive? No, I so didn't. So then why did you test me if it, we weren't exclusive? Why would that matter if I was talking about other guys? Well, I can't, I can't, I can't test a girl. I mean, don't make her feel like she's the bad oh, guy. Come on. Just, I really don't need you. Not... Involved. I really don't need you involved right now. But you now. needed her involved half an hour ago. Yeah, I said what I said. Am I gonna take it back? No. But I'm gonna just tell you how it's it is. Not gonna be your last resort anymore. Okay, good. Cause I've got other options, Liv. I've got fucking options. That's just the fucking facts. Give me a goddamn fucking towel. Why are you still sitting down? This, this, this chick is fucking out her fucking mind. You had to get a whole ass crew. You get it, how to get a whole ass cube. This is fucking funny. Can just like leave? We just want you gone. You're not gonna be my first and last option. Fuck all you All you guys fucking make me laugh. Benny was honestly on demon mode. There was just no point in Liv talking to him or trying to get her point across because this dude was just not listening. You can just leave. I don't want you anywhere near me. Just leave them on the couch. I got you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Fuck all 